But let's start with the Vivek Ramaswamy clip. This clip has gone wildly viral. Some people say it's a bombshell. Is it? Let's take a look and find out. Reverend Sharpton, hello. I'm Vivek, and I want to ask you, uh, last week on the show we had Senator Kerry, and this week, and, and, and the week before, we had Senator Edwards. And my question for you is, of all the Democratic candidates out there, why should I vote for the one with the least political experience? Well, this is on Hardball on MSNBC, the by the way. He's talking to Reverend Al Sharpton. I got involved in the political uh, movement when I was 12 years old. And I've been involved in social policy for the last 30 years. So don't confuse people that have a job with political experience. Uh, whoever the head of, uh, uh, of, of some local bureaucracy has a job in Cambridge. That doesn't mean that they have political experience, and it doesn't mean they have the experience to uh, run the United States uh, government. So I think that we confuse title holders with political experience, as we have, uh, have seen with the present occupant in the White House. George Bush was a governor and clearly has shown he doesn't have political experience. <laughs> So this is clearly not the point of the video. The point of the video is that Vivek was deciding which Democrat candidate to vote for. But it's funny because while I was listening to that, I thought, okay, Reverend Al Sharpton, like what, have I agreed with him even once out of a million times in the course of his political career? Probably not, but this is the once that I think he made a valid point, that just because you've served in government a long time doesn't ma make you the most qualified for the position. Um, be that as it may, not the point of this. The point of this and what people are talking about, what you guys are talking about on X, formerly known as Twitter, and on Rumble is, well, Vivek used to be a Democrat. He was deciding whether to vote for John Edwards, the creep who cheated on his wife while his wife was dying of cancer and fathered a child with some, with some mistress. John Kerry, another candidate, this freako climate czar who, you know, doesn't own a private jet. I mean, his wife owns one, but he doesn't personally own one. So that makes it okay. This freako or Reverend Al Sharpton, one of the most destructive race baiters in modern American history. So yeah, that doesn't reflect great on Vivek. That doesn't make me feel confident that he was thinking the right things at the time. Now, is this, this was back in 2004. So is this reflective of what Vivek believes now? There's basically two ways that I look at this, two ways that I'm entertaining, um, or two ways that I'm analyzing this video. The first way is well, a lot of people were idiots when we were young. I mean, I used to be more of a libertarian, God forbid. Thankfully, I outgrew that as, as I educated myself. I think a lot of you guys, I mean, a lot of people used to be Democrats and they saw the light. They either got a job and started paying taxes or they had a family or they're just not woke. They used to think the Democrats were the party of the working man. There's a lot of reasons that you might've used to be a Democrat and then switched to Republicans. So I wanna be generous on one hand and say, well, back in 2004, that was nine years ago. Am I, were we really gonna crucify this guy for being a Democrat when he was basically a kid? That's my first thought. My second thought though, is the viewpoints of the, of the Democrat party, the policy positions of the Democrat party, Vivek hasn't come out and disavowed except for speaking out against wokeism, which to his credit, great. I'm glad that he has been sounding the alarm on ESG and wokeism for a long time. But up until about a year ago, Vivek was repeating a lot of the talking points that were Democrat talking points, Democrat policies, whether it's, you know, high estate taxes, whether it's anti-Trump, whether it's calling January 6th an insurrection, whether it's pro-masks and pro-vaccines. I mean, the guy made his money in big pharma. A lot of the things that he's held to up until he essentially launched his campaign were more similar to someone who would vote for John Edwards or John Kerry or God forbid, even Al Sharpton. So is this video a smoking gun? I'm not sure I would categorize it as a smoking gun, but it's one more piece of evidence that a lot of us are accumulating because I want to like the guy. I like Vivek Ramaswamy. He's so likable. He's so articulate. He's so willing to have discussions. He says the right things. He's unafraid. And yet there's this, this grain of skepticism, of doubt in my mind about the guy. I just don't quite trust him. 